Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijay Tavardhan and today we are going to discuss in this lecture how to draw the projections of a straight line when the line is inclined to both the planes. In my previous lecture, I have shown you how to draw the projection of a straight line in different condition when a line is held parallel and inclined and other things. But here in this lecture, the actual projection when a line is inclined to both the planes that is when a line is inclined to both HP and VP that was that is what, what we are going to discuss. And here one can see that the A dash and B dash as well as AB is going to be the actual front views what we are going to get it. Now I will come back to this image a little later we will understand how to solve the problem here. Now, the condition will be like this when the line is parallel to both the planes then how to solve a problem now for which let us consider an example let us consider an example like this a line ab 60 millimeter long has its one of its extremities 20 mm in front of vp and 15 mm above hp the line is inclined at 25 degree to hp and 40 degree to VP. Draw its stop and front views. This is the condition which we have given. Now according to the given condition, now we are supposed to solve the problem. Now to solve a problem on a straight line inclined to both the planes, one must know that there are totally, totally 12 parameters are there. Which are the 12 parameters of a line? the true length of a line a dash b dash and the a b2 in the top view and then front view length which is nothing but a dash to b dash then top view length that is nothing but a b then distance between projectors the distance between the projector a and b then locus of b dash is nothing but the height of one end of a line from x y line and then a locus of a dash is nothing but another end of a line above hp similar to the locus of b in the same fashion locus of a and locus of b are nothing but the locus of a is one end of a line is in front of vp and locus of b is another end of a line in front of vp and the true inclination hp that is called as theta and true inclination to vp that is called as phi which we have discussed in the previous sessions and then apparent angle to HP is denoted by angle alpha and apparent angle to VP is denoted by angle beta. And these are the 12 parameters are there. Out of these 12 parameters, minimum 4 parameters, sorry, minimum 5 parameters must be given in the question. Now let us go back to the question or the example what we have considered. Now in the consider in the example what we are going to consider now the condition is like this the line ab is 60 millimeter long has its one of its extremities 20 mm in front of vp and 15 mm above hp the line is inclined at 25 degree to hp and 45 degree to vp draw its stop and front views now line ab is nothing but one it is a true length of a line the true length is going to be like this 60 mm that is nothing but a dash to b1 dash as well as a b2 is considered as 60 mm and one of its extremities is 20 mm in front of vp that is nothing but the end a is 20 mm in front of vp that is nothing but the locus of a and then 15 mm above hp that is nothing but end a is 15 mm above hp that is nothing but the locus of a dash and then the line is inclined at an angle of 25 degree to hp and 40 degree to vp now 25 degree to hp that is nothing but angle theta and 40 degree to hp that is nothing but angle phi now to solve this problem we will make some assumptions now what is that assumption let us make an assumption one what is that assumption one let us consider that the line is parallel to vp only even though it is inclined to 
VP will consider it as parallel to VP and inclined at an angle 25 degree to HP that is only considering the HP inclination that is theta as 25 neglecting the angle phi as 40 degree and according to the previous lecture what we have discussed in the section line 3a1 to line 3a4 let us draw the condition like this now you can see the given true length is 60 degree sorry 60 mm how to draw that one now draw an xy line after drawing an xy line the end a is above 15 mm now above 15 mm draw a locus this point will be always parallel to xy line at whatever may be the inclination it is given now at an angle of 50 at a height of 15 mm let us draw the locus of a dash and at a locus of a will be drawn at a distance of 20 mm now after drawing these two locuses and one can locate a point a dash anywhere on the locus a once it is done using a protractor one can set the protractor here and read the angle as 25 degree and draw this line the length of this line must be equal to 60 mm the length of this line must be equal to 60 mm and then we know that the top u length is going to be always parallel to x y line because the line is parallel to vp now the end a is 20 mm in front of vp hence on the a that is a dash is going to be projected till the line point a the point a will be projected here and then the b dash is also going to be projected on the same line which is 20 mm in front that is locus of a dash now this point we are going to call it as the new point and it is in the front view that is we call it as b1 dash and it is in the top view we call it as b1 now a b1 is going to be the top u length and a dash b1 dash is going to be the front u length now one can ask why we have not mentioned it as b dash because we are neglecting the condition that is angle phi is equal to 40 degree henceforth this is the new assumption and the first assumption we are going to call that point as b1 dash in the front view b1 in the top view now this is the one assumption that we have done now let us do the second assumption what is the second assumption now let us consider the line is parallel to hp only even though inclined to hp and inclined at an angle of 40 degree to vp that is angle phi is taken as 40 degree but here this is a typing mistake it is supposed to be 45 or 40 degree now it is exactly opposite to the previous one what we have done and again these conditions were discussed in section 3 point uh, b.1 to 3 point b to 4 now in this lecture we are going to discuss the further how to solve this problem now you can see this is the condition which we already solved according to assumption 1 then assumption 2 what it states now we know that locus a is already drawn locus of a dash is already drawn and then we know that the point is 20 mm in front now on the locus of a one has to locate a point anywhere on the line then once the point is located now keep the protractor here now take the angle phi as 40 degree and draw the projector like this sorry draw the straight line like this whose straight line length must be equal to 60 degree sorry 60 mm now after drawing this line whatever the point we are going to get it that point we call it as b2 now why this is named as b2 because this is a second assumption the point b is going to be named as the new point that's why it is called as named as second assumption b2 this is a top view and accordingly the front view will be drawn that will be taken as b2 dash now the line is parallel to horizontal plane henceforth the front view will be projected as the horizontal line and then this horizontal line will be always parallel to the xy line and it is having a shortest distance at given inclination and that length we call it as front view length in the same fashion this is called as top view length now these are the two assumptions we have drawn it separately and after drawing it separately then we need to get 
what is the actual front view length and what is the actual top view length and what is its inclination and how to get the thing now let us consider here now extend these locuses now the locus once the the b1 dash is done one can draw the locus of b dash and once the b2 is been located one can draw the locus of b because locus of a and b a are given as a dash and a are given as 15 and 20 mm but the locus of b and b dash is obtained after drawing the true inclination and true lens so of once we get the b1 dash at an angle of 25 degree with a 60 mm locus of b dash can be drawn in the same fashion at an angle of 40 degree with respect to vp the length is drawn as 6 of uh, 60 mm then one can get the locus of b dash now extend the locus of b dash locus of uh, b, a b b dash and a dash now after drawing these four locuses now once again we will locate a point a dash anywhere on the x y line sorry anywhere on the locus of a dash now once the a dash is projected now one has to make sure that at what angle this inclination is going to happen alpha how to get that one now we know that the front view length is fixed take this front view length a dash on the x y line then using the compass using the compass take a dash as center b2 dash as radius and locate it on a dash and then without changing its radius shift the line to the locus of b dash now this is the actual view when the line is inclined at both the planes and this view is called as the required front view of a straight line the required front view of a straight line is always the apparent length and that apparent length we call it as front view length this front view length is nothing but the actual front view when a line is inclined to both the planes now in the same fashion and when the line is inclined here whatever the inclination what we are going to get it here that inclination we call it as apparent angle alpha and this is the apparent length a dash b dash in this particular problem it is measuring as 45.96 now draw the projector a dash on the locus of a to get the position of a now once you get the position of a to understand the top view length or the actual angle where the top view can be generated that is a b how to get this a b now consider the true sorry top view length which is there in assumption number one now again consider the same compass take this point a as the center b1 as the radius and locate a point on a and on the locus of b2 draw an arc whose radius must be equal to the top u length once this top u length radius is drawn the intersection point will be joined with a and this line we call it as top u and whose length will be always equal to top u length and whatever the inclination that we are going to measure here that inclination is called as apparent inclination and this view is called as apparent view the apparent inclination is taken as beta now the length of the straight line in this particular condition is measuring as 54.38 in this is how stage by stage one can solve the problem but in the examination this is what the view what is shown here that is we are supposed to combine all the three views which is drawn separately assumption one assumption two generating the angle alpha generating the angle beta all together must be considered to solve a problem then how to solve it now draw an xy line and draw a locus of 15 mm and draw a locus of 20 mm that is locus of a dash and locus of a has to be projected draw the projector a dash to a after drawing the projector a dash to a then we know the condition called as the true length now true length and true inclination that is a dash to b1 dash has to be projected first and then a to b2 
a and b2 has to be projected that is a and b2 that is angle 40 degree will be known to us draw a line whose length is 60 mm this is how we are supposed to solve it and then what we are supposed to do now we know that b1 dash has to be drawn that is the projection has to be done up to the locus of a because that condition we are making it as parallel to vp now we are making that as parallel to vp when we make it parallel it will become the new position b1 then we know that from then onwards it will be always the top unit henceforth this arc will be generated on the locus of b2 now whatever the point we are going to get that is the actual position of a top u then join this b dash to a sorry b to a as a dark line which is nothing but the required top of a straight line when a line is inclined to both the plane now in the same fashion after drawing this a and b2 now one can make sure that this line is parallel to hp henceforth the front view is going to be a apparent length now here we are going to make it parallel to we are going to make it parallel to the vp that is i am going to get the b2 dash as a reference now b2 will be projected to p2 dash where i am going to get the front view line now a dash as the center b2 dash as the radius one can draw an arc on the locus of b dash there i get the exact position of b dash and one can join a dash to b dash and this line we call it as the actual front view of a straight line the moment this a dash b dash is drawn then finally connect this b dash to b and if this b dash to b is properly vertical and parallel to the a dash and a then one can say that the solution is correct and 100% fixed then this is how we are supposed to solve a problem now you can see the final view how it is going to be the final view will be like this this is the condition of the uh, problem sorry here this is the final view which is there now these are the parameters will be there now once again i'll repeat it minimum we must have 12 parameters sorry minimum out of 12 parameters minimum five parameters must be there to solve a problem and these are the 12 parameters of a straight line thank you guys thank you for watching my video and make sure that please do the subscription and keep watching the latest videos as and when it will be keep on updating thank you very much guys